Are you thinking about moving to Whitefish, Montana? In this video, we are going to give you the 10 reasons we love living here. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so that you are notified every time a new video comes out and you don't miss anything. I just wanted to say that I, I'm from here. I was born and raised in this area in Whitefish and we raised our daughter here. My family still lives here and we just love living here. It is a great place um, and would love to tell you all about it. Welcome to Whitefish, Montana. As you can see, the views from Whitefish are incredible. Anywhere you are in town, no matter which direction you look, you're going to see mountains, rivers, streams, lakes, forests. It doesn't get any better than this. I've lived all over the country and there is not a prettier spot that I know of in the United States. As you can see from this spot near the ski resort, these views just never get old. One of the best things about living in Whitefish is the Whitefish Trail System. As of now, the City of Whitefish and the Whitefish Legacy Partners have built 43 miles of trails with 14 trailheads that are located all around the town of Whitefish. The first and most popular trail is the Lion Mountain Trail. In 2015, they built this large pavilion that can be used for educational programs or just a picnic area. The other reason this trail is so popular is it's a short three mile loop if you'd like, or it also connects to the Beaver Lakes Trail, which will give you another 20 miles of trail system. And it also goes around six lakes that are out to the west side of Whitefish. If you're just looking for a short hike, the Lion Mountain Trailhead is awesome because at the end you're paid off with a great view when you get to the Skiles Lake Overlook. There's a bench located here and it's a great spot to sit and take in the views that look over Skiles Lake and up to the northwest towards Eureka and the Canadian border. This trailhead is only five minutes from downtown Whitefish and it's now connected by sidewalks and trails so you can ride your bike here as well. Number three on our list is Whitefish Lake. This spectacular mountain lake is almost six miles long and a mile and a half across. It is fed by four different creeks that come into the lake at different areas and the Whitefish River flows out of the lake very close to the city beach area. If you're wondering about the depth, it is 233 feet at its deepest point. In the summertime, the city beach area is one of the most popular spots in Whitefish. There is a sandy beach, a shaded grass area, a public dock and boat launch, and picnic tables and gazebos. There is also a snack bar, and city beach is the place to watch the Whitefish fireworks display every 4th of July. Number four on our list are the golf courses we have in Whitefish. We have two courses. One is a public course and one is private. The public course is called Whitefish Lake Golf Club and it's two 18-hole courses known as the North Course and the South Course. The North Course was built in 1935 and measures 6,800 yards from the back tees and it's a par 72, whereas the South Course was built in 1994 and it measures 6,500 yards from the back tees. The private course in Whitefish is located just below the Whitefish Mountain Ski Resort and was built in the year 2000. Iron Horse Golf Club was designed by Tom Fazio and it's a par 71, 7,000 yard course from the back tees. This is one of the top courses in all of Montana, if not the entire Northwest. Iron Horse has a large clubhouse area that includes an outdoor pool and tennis facilities as well. If you are lucky enough to get to play this course, you will take in some great views of the Flathead Valley, Whitefish Lake, and no doubt you will see tons of wildlife around on the course. If you would like information on becoming a member at Iron Horse, please contact us and our information is located in the notes of this video. Number five on our list, but my personal favorite, is the Stumptown Ice Den. It is one of the nicest ice rinks in Montana and it is one of the very few rinks that's open year round in this entire part of the nation. This facility is home to a large adult hockey association, a kids hockey association, figure skating and curling is also done here. 
There is a great group of people that make up the Adult Hockey Association, and the popularity of the adult leagues continues to grow year after year. If you don't play hockey, now is the time to start. Here in Whitefish, we are very lucky to have the Whitefish Mountain Resort. It has turned into a great two-season resort, but it has been consistently ranked by top ski magazines as one of the top 10 ski resorts in all of North America. There are 3,000 acres of terrain, 105 mark trails, the elevation at the summit is 6,817 feet, and there is a vertical drop of 2,353 feet. Number seven on our list are the restaurants that are around Whitefish. We are very fortunate to have tons of good places to eat. I will leave a link for all the restaurants in town in the notes after the video, but just on Central Avenue alone, we have pizza places, we have a few different bars that serve food. Casey's has a rooftop deck, which is a great spot in the summer to eat on. Uh, there are some fine dining places. And just off Central Avenue, there's also some good places one of my favorites is called the Tea Kettle Cafe, and it's located in the Marketplace, which is located on Spokane Avenue, one block east of Central. I guarantee there are plenty of options and you will never go hungry when you walk around Whitefish. Another great natural resource we have here in Whitefish is the Whitefish River. Like I mentioned earlier, it flows out of the south end of Whitefish Lake and makes its way all the way through the town of Whitefish before it starts heading south towards Kalispell. There are some great walking and biking trails that follow the river through town, and there are also a few parks located along the river as it goes through Whitefish. One of the things we love to do is we'll go park a car out on Highway 40, which is just south of Whitefish, and then put our paddle boards in at City Beach and get onto the Whitefish River, and you can paddle all the way through town and outside of town a little bit to the pullout area on Highway 40, and it's about a three-hour trip, and it's a great day on the river. If you don't want to go that far, there are plenty of parks to stop early. The ninth reason to move to Whitefish is our parks. Throughout town you'll find numerous parks that can be used by the kids, or there are plenty of spots for adults to just sit and relax or have a picnic lunch. The newly remodeled Depot Park is right downtown and is the site of the farmer's market during the summer. And on the east side of town is the dog park, which is a great area and very popular for dog owners to walk their dogs and they can even play in a little pond that they have there as well. And the last thing on our list are the theaters. I have to admit, this was my wife's choice, but we do have two very nice theaters in town, one being the O'Shaughnessy Center, which is located at the end of Central Avenue. The other theater, known as the Whitefish Performing Arts Center, is located in the middle school, which is one block away on Spokane Avenue. Both of these theaters host plays and concerts year-round, and according to my wife, both of these venues attract big name actors and actresses to perform here in Whitefish. So there are our 10 favorite things. Please leave a comment below and let us know which one was your favorite. Thank you for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so next time a video comes out you will be notified. Our information is on the screen so please contact us at any time and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.